Obi Toppin is ready to have the opportunity of playing with Tyrese Halliburton, ladies and gentlemen. Tyrese, he's he's a definitely an electrifying point guard. We're going to get all into Mr. Tyrese, but Obi Toppin has had one incredible journey, you know, being drafted by the New York Knicks now, an Indiana Pacer, looking to pretty much restart and reinvigorate his career. Um, his career is definitely... It just didn't take off maybe to his liking or to everybody else's playing with the New York Knicks. It, it, it wasn't easy, you know, because the Knicks had a collection of veterans that we got to break it, break it all down. But Obi Toppin definitely, like I said, who knows if he was just a New, a New York Knicks kind of guy. But I do think that in Indiana, he's going to get the opportunity to, you know, make this thing right. And it's going to be up to him at the end of the day. What has happened now is there's no excuses. It's on Obi. You know, you talk about playing with Ty. Ty's going to find me. That's something that he's, he's saying. So I guess maybe a New York guys wasn't finding guys. You know, but I mean, we're going to break it down. Um, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe if you're rocking with the Indiana Pacers and you want more Pacers content, more content on Tyrese Halliburton, Obi Toppin. Um, the New York Knicks, the list goes on. We got NBA basketball fastly approaching. Uh, Obi Toppin, uh, if you've been living on the Iraq, this man was drafted in the 2020 NBA draft. He was the eighth pick, you know, um, from Dayton, and he was a beast. The man was a Skywalker. You know, you're talking about a 7 2 wingspan. Um, his career has been rough, and, you know, he took a step. And then it seemed like he backtracked, you know, never averaged double digit points in a season. This is an eighth pick we talking about. Um, you know, this guy, seven points last season, shooting 44% from the field, 34% from three, two rebounds. He only playing like 15 minutes a game, 17 minutes. You know, uh, the major problem with that is, you know, he was playing behind um, Julius Randle and playing behind Julius Randle was just nothing to scoff at. You know, I just gotta just gotta let you know, um, it, it's nothing to it's nothing to play with, and we've seen it firsthand. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it's definitely a lot to break down uh, because Julius has definitely kind of screwed us around a little bit. Um, if you if you um, a New York Nick, I really think they need to get up off of him, but. To Julius's credit, he averaged 25 points per game. He was getting the lion's share in the minutes. Um, he was the guy in New York. You know, this man was getting MVP chance and all kind of stuff. I mean, he he really won New York Knicks, the, the New York Knicks over back in 2020. And it, the Knicks haven't looked back since. Um, and he's been pretty much uh, a reason why Obi didn't get to his full potential. And it wasn't Julius's fault. It's just how the team was constructed. Uh, if they was going to draft him, they could have got somebody else if they wasn't going to get uh, Obi and use him correctly. I was excited when the Knicks drafted Obi Top. And the kid is from New York, so he understands the struggle, you know, of, of being a Knicks fan and, and them winning and things of that nature. Everybody has a share of those same thoughts. you got to be from New York to understand that and fully you know, grasp, you know, all of that information and, what, and what's at stake. But it is what it is. The man was highly emotional when he got drafted, you know, him and his whole family. So just to see it didn't work out was definitely tough. But he's in Indiana now, you know. Now, Indy, they, they got, they, they not perfect either. Indiana got their own issues that they have to deal with at the end of the day. They got players. They got to make some decisions on some guys, even though, he claims he's been very excited to, to work with these players. Um, we all know what he's going to get from Tyrese Halliburton. Tyrese Halliburton, you're talking about he's he's getting to the level of all-star status. He's he, Like I said, he's already there already. He's, he's about to get the superstar status, pardon me. Um, a lot of people feel like he's he's one of the next guys, and I think it's going to be a, a, a real toss-up, you know, when you, you know, in the future, when in terms of, who's the best point guard in the Eastern Conference leading that team, you know, so that's going to be tough, you know. It's, it could be a serious toss-up out there because when you got guys like Tyrese and they're adding pieces to the team, it could be tough for other players, you know. Um, and like I said, it's going to get to the point now where when you got guys like Tyrese, you got guys like Melo, you got other players out, it's about who, who they put around these guys. 
you know, because we all know these guys are all world. But it's going to be about how how can the team assemble the pieces around these electrifying guards. And that goes for our West, too. Even these guards coming in the league. That's what it's going to be about. Who, who, who surrounds them with the best talent? And that's going to be the winner at the end of the day. But Tyrese, he averaged 20 points per game last season. He shot 49% from the field, 40% from three, three rebounds, and 10 assists. You know, and, and also a steal. So the man is going to get out there and defend. Um, Tyrese knows a little something about what Obi Toppin was, was going through. You know, I'm pretty sure he can relate and he could kind of, you know, put his little twist on it. Because Tyrese, he was drafted by the Sacramento Kings. They had a guard already there in place. Um, if he would have stayed there, you know, he pretty much would have, you know, it would have never worked out. You know, he played there. He was starting to get a little bit of footing in the organization. When they go into summer league, they bring in Tyrese Halliburton with them, you know, to sit there and talk and meet with players and things of that nature. So it wasn't no more, you know, De'Aaron Fox. So I'm pretty sure Fox wasn't feeling all of that. You know, it seemed like they got a new point guard. They're moving on from De'Aaron Fox. So I think it could have went either way. But they, they made their decision. They moved on from Tyrese Halliburton, similar to what happened here with Obi Toppin. Um, they had Julius. Julius, they thought Obi was going to be the, the next guy. They was going to move on from Julius. No, they traded Obi. You know, so it, it's a tough situation going on. But I do think that these two can find, you know, some sort of common ground, and they're going to dominate uh, together. I think that this guy's a serious live threat. Come on, we all know what Obi Toppin could do. Um, and then when you got the other pieces that they have on this roster, the Miles Turners of the world, you know, um, and the list goes on. We all know we got to figure out what they're going to do with Buddy Hield. I think that's going to be the million dollar question. But you got guys like Benedict Mathurin, uh, Matherin, part of me. You, you got uh, you got a team, Jordan Nawara. Uh, they got pieces in now. You know, they, like I said, they're not loaded, but they got pieces. Um, and I, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle the whole season and what can Rick Carlisle do. At the end of the day, Rick Carlisle is going to be tasked with figuring all of this out. The Warrens of the world. Um, where does this team fit in the Eastern Conference? You know, but Obi is definitely excited. He's having a heck of a training camp from the, from the footage and the news I've been seeing and hearing. Um, it's going to be an exciting NBA season. I can't wait to get into it and break a whole lot of things down because there's so much to talk about. Um, this is, is, is breaking news in the NBA, y'all. Uh, peace and love to everybody. It's Flight Sports. You already know what it is. We're going to be bringing a whole lot of more news, updates, and more to the people. This is talking about the Indiana Pacers, you know, Obi Toppin. And what is he going to be doing with Tyrese? He's ready for a new opportunity leaving New York City. Peace and love.